Hello and welcome back to Twilight Princess everybody. Last video we started in the Forest Temple and we've been helping out our monkey friends who have been helping us in return. So let's go ahead and start part two of the temple. Last video uh, we came back to the central room and now if we go this way we'll be able to create a larger bridge. There we go. So let's go ahead, burn that cobweb and go on through to more new unexplored areas. Let's go ahead and hit around here, destroy some enemies, explore around if there's anything around here. There's lots of small chests in this dungeon I find with rupees and things like that. Um, these flowers you don't want to get near because they will eat you automatically. So don't touch them unless you want to be eaten, which I can't imagine you would. However, there's a way to get rid of them, and that is to throw one of these guys into their mouths. We've been seeing these bombs around. If I can grab it, that would be uh, awesome, Link. Thank you. Let's drop it right into its... Ow. Fail. I was going to say drop it right into its mouth, because until we drop the bomb right into that flower's mouth, we're not able to continue on. If you try to actually um, jump, it'll, I guess, kind of extend its mouth and kind of uh, eat you, which is kind of strange, but I guess it's a longer plan than we originally thought. However, if you place the bombs in them, the flowers will disappear. So we need to be able to do that to actually make any sort of advancement on in this dungeon. I think I'm going to go ahead and going to grab another bomb and use it on those um, boulders we just saw. I think you can use your shield, and once they hit your shield, they'll explode as well. You don't have to uh, exactly attack them. I hate not having bombs. I, I, I love when you're playing a game and you don't realize how important an item is until you don't have it. And then everything just becomes so incredibly inconvenient. So I think we can go into this room. And if not, we'll come back. Actually, we can, because there is a small key door and we do not have a small key but we'll see what we can do in this room we might have to come back all right let's go ahead ow I was say, let's go ahead and avoid all of these but apparently that just doesn't want to work for me i think you can pretty much just walk across the area um and hopefully you don't land on a square that actually has one of the little plaques Let's go ahead and light these other two torches. Which should create more steps for us. Ow! I didn't even walk across you, whatever. It's kind of interesting that he boosted me all the way up here, though. Let's open up this chest while we're up here for 20 rupees. We might as well. I mean, while I'm up here, it saves me from climbing. And I think, of course, that's just going to bring us over to the other side. We still have one more torch to light. Go ahead and light it. And then we are able to make our way to the top. There we go. Wonderful. Ow! You seriously just keep popping up, don't you? What a jerk. Go away. I don't I don't like you. You are not nice. You are not friendly at all. You can see though that oh that we can't get to the monkey. And that almost completely scared the bejesus out of me. Why do you resist my attacks, spider? Come on. I just can't get the timing right. I'm trying to jump into it. There we go. To get rid of it, but it's just not doing what I want it to. There we go. Gets rid of you, unfortunately, does not free the monkey. Although, I think I do see... I know, those are just pots. I was gonna say, I think I saw a chest on there. Or no, that is a chest. Yes. That is a chest. So, if that is a chest, we might be able to actually get something out of it before we leave. There we go. And hopefully it's that key that we need. If not, I'm sure it's something like the dungeon map or something. There we go. I was on the back side of it, that doesn't help. And it is the small key. Alright, awesome. That's why it pays to be really observant. There's always those small things that I miss a lot of the time. I hope I didn't screw up getting that chest down there. 
because these stairs were already in my way. So it would have been really difficult for me to get to that chest, but I'll have to come back for it later if I can. And there we go, another monkey! Alright, so now I have three. Hopefully that monkey will help us, since we have helped it. We'll bring him back to the rest of our monkeys. And see if we can't get anywhere else. Uh, I don't think there's anything else left to do in this room. I think I collected pretty much everything, so let's go. Um, I think I can climb those vines if I get rid of the spiders. Let's do that. And continue on. Basically just trying to fix our map up right now, making sure we've explored every room thoroughly, uh, and taken out anything that's in those rooms. Kind of process of elimination. We'll probably have to backtrack at some point. But let's go ahead and drop this bomb. Because there's a flower down there. With a large chest. Let's go back and grab whatever that is. And let's hop across. And there's another door over here. Okay. This is a big room though. As you can see, it looks like a very, very large room. And it looks like it's the room with all the wind. We'll see if these bridges will come across. I don't think that they will. I don't think that they... I think they're stuck like this. So we've hit another dead end. Unless it's gonna change around for me, which would be nice. Nope. Wind has stopped. Alright, dead end. you can see even if this one changes, the other one is going to change and they're not going to line up. So, we still haven't figured out what that whole wind business is about. We'll have to figure that out later. For now, I guess we can go back to the central room with the other two monkeys and reunite this little guy with his friends. And I can grab whatever it was that was down here. Let's see. Where is it? Over here. It's a piece of heart! Alright, so that's our second piece of heart of the game. Still need quite a few to form another heart container though. And there we go! Alright, three little monkeys jumping on the bed. Thank you! There's only one thing I've missed. We're gonna go back to where we rescued our last monkey. And there should be a room that I actually failed to go into. That big room uh, on the south of our map. For some reason, I only saw the one door. But there's another door up here. And that is the door that we need to go into next. So, go over this way. Climb up these vines. Whoops. And it's the door directly in front of me. I don't know how I missed something like that. But let's go in here and see if we can get anything else done. That's another little monkey! How many monkeys are there in this dungeon? Oh, there's the key! And it looks like we need to get it back from this weird, strange plant-eating creature. Those things just always kind of creep me out. This is, looks like mini-boss territory. I'm gonna use my shield. Because it's gonna try to bob at me. And when it comes towards me, that's when I can attack it with my sword. So very, very simple, really. Just wait for it to attack you, and then when it swoops down, either use your shield or get out of the way and then attack it. Uh, and just kind of keep out of its way. Pretty easy thing to do, really. The timing might be a little bit off, because it's actually kind of quick to get its head back. It kind of veers out and then veers back in really quickly, as you can see there. Might be a little easier to jump to the side for this, because then you're not as far back. But pretty easy, just take your time. I like how Link jumps to the side. I always liked that, that the side jump was pretty cool. I liked how they did it in Majora's Mask, where he would do like a fancy kind of front side-ish flip when he would jump. They made it really fancy in that game, let me tell ya. There we go. Easy as pie. Once you destroy the, I guess, the first part of the body, 
we can throw a bomb into there like we did in the previous room. Now all we need to do is find a bomb around here. Looks like it's over here. Little bomb plant. Let's take you. And boom. Eat bomb. And it should spit that key back out. I'm hoping. There it is. That key is especially shiny for it being in the innards of a plant-like creature. I'm not sure Link wants to pick that up, but I guess we need it to free that poor little monkey ahead of us. Okay. Here you go, monkey. You're free. I love the little clap they do. It's the, kind of like the, thank you so much for freeing me clap, which is really adorable. Alright. That should be all the monkeys we need at the time. Or, should be all the monkeys we need for the time being. I'm so tired. I can't even get my words sorted out. Now that we have four monkeys in total, we should be able to span... Uh, quite a large distance. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to the original room. You can see the monkeys will actually point you in that direction. We're gonna go back to this room. And if you remember, this is where the... If they can get out of my way, this is where the bigger um, baboon destroyed our bridge. But now with four monkeys, we'll be able to create an epic monkey bridge. <laughs> I love the way they do that. So cute, they just kind of help each other out. There you go. That is what I call teamwork. And we're actually able to fully span uh, across this area using this awesome monkey bridge. So there we go. Thank you, monkeys! Let's go up here. Through this door right in front of us. And the door locked behind us, which... Can only mean mini boss time. I don't know what kind of item he has, but it looks pretty dangerous. It kind of resembles a boomerang, but it's pretty big compared to the boomerangs we've seen in other Zelda games. All right, so for this boss, you're just going to want to pay attention to what platform or totem pole or whatever that he lands on, and you want to roll into it and knock him down. And then, if these enemies would get off me, I just ruined my chance, which is really awesome. Great. I probably wanted to take out these guys first. I'll probably do that now when I have the chance to. You gotta kind of wait a bit to get out of their grasp. So when he when he stops. I think he usually always stops on the center one. Knock him over. And then you can slash his behind, which is how you hurt him. That seems like a pretty decent weak spot. That would really, really hurt, actually. Would not be fun to get slashed in the butt. Wouldn't really be fun to get slashed anywhere, mind you, but that would really hurt. So that's all there really is to this battle. I don't know how much he responds to those annoying plant-like creatures. But when he does, I recommend taking them out first. As you saw there, I took quite a bit of damage. When I, uh, or I didn't really take damage, but it took me a really, really long time to actually um, get out of that hole that I was in. Let's see if I can get you down from there. There we go. And you, just, you shouldn't take too many more hits. You should be done pretty soon, I'd think. Many bosses usually don't take that many hits, which is pretty fortunate. The music in here is pretty cool, too, actually. It's kind of neat. It's, again, it's kind of like jungle themed. I really like it and for some reason this game just really does not like me today Here I am trying to defeat the boss and all the little minions keep getting in my way It's almost like tribal music huh? There we go Oh, you don't have- I was gonna say you don't have that much health left. Come on <laughs> He kind of dies comically Ugh, and he had a parasite in him. That's gross. It turns out he's just a little innocent monkey like the rest of them are. <laughs> and he runs away. Poor monkey. 
I'm sorry, it had to be done. You were causing all sorts of trouble, and you didn't even know it. Ooh. I'm the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. So this item is really, really cool. This is the Gale Boomerang. So this is a mysterious boomerang which houses the Fairy of Winds. It sucks, thing up with, sucks things up with gale force. So, very, very interesting item, like I said. And we will go ahead and we will demonstrate its use in the next video once Min is done talking to us. I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue calming this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. Alright, thanks, Minna. We will do exactly that in the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining me, and I hope that you will join me next time.